And this matchup is underway. This one's going to be very physical. It's the Beach Boy taking on the man from the Dark City. And this is going to be very personal. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you something, Tato. These guys got to put on a show. They're following up that awesome match we just saw with Silva versus Sean Banks. We still got Johnny Swinger, Crew Jones, j Rod. We got a lot of action still to come. So these guys better put it on the line. I'm liking my boy Murder One. Vicious elbow nearly connecting, however, Scotty Beach did not get all of it, and Murder One right now trying to regain his composure. Tremendous matchup, this is going to be, both men are very even, 50-50, however, Murder One, I think, might have the psychological advantage. This guy has been to prison, and although I'm not quite sure why, something tells me that Murder One wasn't in jail for something like parking tickets. No, no, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. He's called Murder One for a reason. It wasn't Murder Two or Murder Three, and he only spent a few years in prison. But that's besides the point. The point is, he learned a few tricks up his sleeve, and these little fancy elbow drops, you know, they ain't gonna cut the mustard against Murder One. This is one tough hombre. He will come back and knock this little blonde pretty boy around. Guaranteed. Beach now ringing the arm, continuing the offense on Murder One. He's got him in the ropes now, tying up that arm in the ropes and kicking it for extra leverage. Scotty Beach immediately targeting the upper body of Murder One. He's got him backed up in the corner and a chop right across the chest. Trying to stop the heart of the man from Dark City. Chop again and Johnny V, I wonder if Murder One was ever chopped like that during his time in prison. Well, I uh, don't know, Tato, in prison they don't call it chopping, but you're still a victim and you're horribly victimized. And either way, it's not a pretty thing. But here's the cover by Pretty Boy here. He ain't going to get it. That ain't going to get the job done. Murder One has the talent to be one of the top stars in this company. You're not going to get it done with something like that. And Scotty Beach now continuing to work over Murder One with this tremendous arm lock maneuver. Keeping his opponent on the canvas exactly where he wants him. This maneuver could cause some dislocation in the right shoulder of Murder One if it's applied properly. Beach moments ago was looking like he was biting the fingers of Murder One. Not exactly something I would condone, but Beach is simply fighting fire with fire. Uh, hey, genius. You normally you fight fire with water. That's what you normally do. But hey, whatever. Who's this guy? Well, Johnny, the man at ringside, known as Wicked Nemesis. This is one of the most diabolical fiends in all of great championship wrestling, the current manager of both Orion Bishop and Murder One. Yeah, Wicked Nemesis? Why the hell is his name Wicked Nemesis? I mean, he don't have like a scary hat on or nothing, or, you know, like a solid black leather. You know, he, he looks like Bob Saget just got done playing in the PGA. I mean, that's Wicked Nemesis? Beach now forcing Murder One back to his feet. Oh, jawbreaker with authority. And Murder One now slumping across the middle rope on the inside. Very precarious positioning as Scotty Beach driving all of his weight across the shoulders. I would say venture to save Johnny V right now. Scotty Beach in complete control. As Wicked Nemesis looks on from ringside. Wicked Nemesis is a good manager, but still, come on, Tay, dude. You know, Paul Bear dressed like a Paul Bear. This guy's dressed like a soccer dad, and that's not the kind of manager you need for a monster like Murder One. Look at that, a curbside stomping, taking it to pretty boy Scotty Beach, and there's Wicked Nemesis getting some licks in himself. Oh, vicious shot there by Murder One, connecting right across the forehead of the Beach Boy. Oh, and now choking him right in front of the referee. Scotty Beach managing to rake the eyes and momentarily buy himself some time. However, the most vicious striker in great championship wrestling now working over the Beach Boy. He's got him in the corner and now working him over. Oh, and now choking him once again. Oh, that's original. Well, he's got him. Murder One knows what he's got to do. You're talking about, hey, I might not like to admit it, Scotty Beach, a former GCW World Heavyweight Champion, you got to give him some credit. He's been to the top, he's seen what it's about, and he's one of the premier stars. So Murder One's got to make an impact. He knows what he's got to do, and as you can see, he's getting it done. 
Ooh, vicious shot right to the face. Kersey of murder one. Irish whip across the ring. And the Beach Boy colliding with the corner. Oh, Scotty Beach is in a lot of trouble here as murder one turns up the voltage. Now standing over his fallen opponent and choking him like a shark smelling blood. Murder one sniffing out the weakness of the Beach Boy and exposing it right here on Great Championship Wrestling. There's a shot by Scotty Beach and again. Oh, hey. oh. Murder one comes from the dark city. He's got a violent past, and he'll use it to his advantage. Look at those hits. Have you ever seen a punch delivered so violently? I mean, here's the pin one, too. Oh, that ref is slow. I'm telling you, Tate, dude, I'm getting tired of these refs. Oh, wait, oh, the counter. The counter there by the Beach Boy, and now Scotty Beach mounted strikes right across the face. Scotty Beach turning this one around. This one is degenerating into a street fight. Oh, yeah. All we're missing is the tables and a couple of chairs, some barbed wire bats. And this would be right up my alley. I mean, we'd turn this into a shindig real quick, that's for sure. But you wouldn't want Pretty Boy getting his nails dirty and getting blood in his hair. That's not good. You can't have that. Wait a minute, are you trying to tell me that you don't think Scotty Beach could handle a street fight environment with Murder One? Yeah, yeah that, that's what I, what, a, what do I got to stutter? Do I look like a Dudley? Come on, hey dude, this guy's not a tough guy, alright? He's not someone that can hang, Murder One's proven it. There's a difference between being a good wrestler and being a tough wrestler. Tough wrestlers survive, good wrestlers go down the drain, and you're seeing it right here. Well, right now it looks like Scotty Beach is fading fast as referee Jeff McGowan right there to see if this one is going to be over. The arm dropped twice. If it drops the third time, this one will be over. Murder One will pick up the victory, but no. Somehow, Scotty Beach digging down deep and showing you that he has much more toughness than you've given him credit for. Now back to a vertical base, driving elbows right to the ribs. Flying forearm by the Beach Boy, who now has his second win. Now, you know what it is, Tay, dude. Scotty Beach just got a whiff of those pizzas. They must have just put in a new batch over there at Johnny's Beach, I'm telling you. Beach colliding to the canvas, the counter, the cover. And no, very close. For a moment there, I thought Murder One was going to pick up the victory, but no. And Johnny V, how can you be talking about pizza at a time like this in this matchup? I'm just saying, you can get a whiff of that food. If I was in that ring, I'd be, you know, calling timeout, going over there, getting a burger, some pizza, coming back and delivering a body slam. That's the way I roll, but hey, either way, murder one back in charge here. What's he going to do here? Look at this. Murder one with all of his weight across the beach, boy. There's the cover. There's the count. But no. Referee Jeff McGowan was right there, but Murder One did not get it. Come on, Murder Baby. You gotta hook the leg. Oh, now he's hooking the leg. He's not going for the pin, but he's hooking the leg. The three times he's tried to pin him, if he would have hooked that leg, I think this match would have been over a lot quicker. Hook the leg. It's not hard. It helps. It controls and stabilizes the shoulders to the mat, and it makes you win. Pretty simple. Beach managing to get to the ropes. Now referee Jeff McGowan trying to break the maneuver. Scotty Beach kicking away on Murder One. Buying himself a few moments to re to kind of recapture his breath. Here comes Murder One, but no. Now it's the Beach Boy. Firing shots right across the face of Murder One. And there's the bionic elbow reminiscent of his trainer, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Tremendous heart and determination being shown by the Beach Boy. Oh, God, yeah, Dusty Rhodes. There we go. Well, anyways, back to the mat chair. Beach delivering the beach ball, the leg drop to the lower abdominal region. And I believe now Murder One is finding himself in a very, very precarious position, prone on the canvas as Scotty Beach sets him up. Well, what's Beach doing now? Ascending to the very top of this ring. What is this going to be? He leaps. Oh, he went for the moonsault, but nobody was home. Murder One now staggering back to his feet. He leaps and down into the hard time he calls that the hard time the ace crusher and it's over Ladies murder one picks up the victory murder. murder one